Hi, and welcome to Click Fix. This video will demonstrate how to set up API keys in ClickSense Enterprise SaaS using APIs. For this example, I'll be using PowerShell to send requests to a ClickSense Enterprise tenant. These will be the same actions that could be performed via the user interface in the hub, but will be done via APIs instead. Here is a simple script that will allow you to generate an API key. More details can be found on click.dev under Tutorials and Generate Your First API Key. But I'll show you how to find the same commands using browser developer tools. First, in the Tenant Management Console under Settings, API keys should be enabled here. You can find more information about this step on click.dev. The link is below. Set the max token expiration in days and the number of API keys per user. These settings help maintain system security. To generate an API key, from the hub in the Profile menu, select Settings, then API Keys. To see the API code to use, you can open Browser Developer Tools in Chrome via F12 or in the Browser menu under More Tools and Developer Tools. Click on the Network tab, then perform the actions of getting a new API key by clicking the Generate New Key button, give it a name, Generate, here's the key. Now in the Dev Tools, the request for that command is shown. You can copy that, and pasting it here in the PowerShell script, you can see that nothing has changed. So it's the same script found in the tutorial on click.dev. Scrolling a little further down in the body, you can see name and expiry time. Run the command. And here's the current API key that's about to expire, and here's the new API key. You will need to run this command before the API key expires to get a new key and update your code with a newer API key. This is a handy method for renewing API keys that are about to expire, because you only need to visit the user interface the first time. To demonstrate what it looks like when something goes wrong, I'll use the wrong format in the expiry field. First, it's showing the maximum number of API keys has been reached. To resolve that, I will delete an expired API key. Back to PowerShell and try again. This time, an invalid property value 400 error is given. It's just showing that the wrong format is being used. And you can always find the correct code to be used by performing the actions in the UI and copying the code from the developer tools. I hope this helped. If you'd like more information, take advantage of the expertise of peers, product experts, and technical support engineers by asking a question in a Click product forum on Click Community, or check out the support program space. Here you can search for answers in the support knowledge base, learn directly from Click experts via support webinar like TechSpert Thursdays, and don't forget to subscribe to the support updates blog. Thanks for watching.